Hello, this is Mr. Fisher Flips for fourth grade math. <clears throat> As I was preparing the lesson, I came across this acronym, Dracula Must Suck Blood. Well, it goes right along with the acronym I've been teaching you, Donkey Manure Smells Bad. But this one, same thing, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Well, I also found it very helpful that we should not forget to line up our answers when we divide with the ones digit of the part of the number you're dividing. When we do that, we're going to make sure that everything in the hundreds place stays in the hundreds place so that when we get to the ones place, we're going to be dividing by just the ones place. Very helpful to remember. Well, today we are going to be dividing with any method, so it's going to be your choice and as you do it just make sure that you're doing it with the method that fits for you so if you have a grandma's favorite recipe and it's dividing a different way but it still works use it it'll be very effective as you get started um, with today's lesson well if we look at our agenda we've slowed down a lot just to make sure that everybody understands dividing and it's a good thing because we're finding that there were some things that needed to be addressed. And so we've been doing these lessons almost overlapping them side or on top of each other. So that we've been doing some lessons online and the lessons themselves a couple times during the, the classroom. And so we probably won't be able to finish this unit before Thanksgiving. It'll be a little bit after. Well, our agenda for today will be, like always, explore, apply, and problem solve, and then show you your homework and do some online um, versions so that you can understand how it goes. I did find another way to think about it. This one right here, instead of doing the divide, they use the question, how many times? And it's very helpful if you notice right here. 7 goes into 45 how many times? See how that works? How many times? It's a good way to look at it. When we say 45 divided by 7, we're, we're kind of left understanding, well, it doesn't fit. It's not even. Well, how many times does it go into 45? And we know it's 6. 6 times 7 is 42. And notice they, they kept with the same pattern, multiply, subtract, and instead of bring down, they say drop it down and so you bring down the 30 bring it down so it's 32 and 7 how many times does 7 go into 32? 4. 4 times 7 is 28. You subtract and you get remainder 4. 64 remainder 4. So I hope you are understanding this as I keep on reviewing it and you'll notice that we're gonna get into word problems next and we want to make sure you have the concepts down before you do um, get all those words mixed together and they're, they're going to be plentiful. Well, <clears throat> I think we need to concentrate now that we have a different method on what I'm going to call the best way to understand how division is applicable. And so when I do this, I want you to take and let's start out. 8 goes into 9 how many times? Now notice I didn't say 96 but that could have been. But we're going to only look at that 9. And we said 1, 1 times 8 is 8. We're going to then after we've multiplied subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. And to bring down we're going to use this arrow to bring down, and we're going to bring down that 6, and we have 16. 8 goes into 16, how many times? 2. 2 times 8 is 16. When we subtract, what do we get? We get 0. Bring down again, this time let's put an arrow on it, we bring down that 6. Now we have 6. How many times does 
8 go into 6? 0. You better put 0 because it doesn't go into it any time. So we have 0 times 8 is 0. And so what do we have as a remainder? 6 minus 0 is 6. So we're going to have a remainder of 6. Let's take that same problem. <coughs> In fact, let's uh, move the answer over 1, 2, and 0. We're going to bring this over to this problem and we might as well do it to the next problem because we'll go over there too. Okay, we get 120 and if you look at that problem that we just did, you're going to see that there was a remainder of 6 and so we're going to pretend that we got all the way done, we bring it down and there's a 6 right here. Well, a calculator can continue on. And so I'm going to use the calculator by putting a decimal here. And it's going to go past the decimal. Now, when I go past the decimal, I'm going to put nothing past the decimal. When I put nothing, I'm going to put a 0. I'm going to bring that down. And now it's 60. See, 6, 0. Even though there's the decimal, we're going to try and see how many 8's go into 60. How many 8's go into 60? 8 times 8 is 64, so that's too high. We've got to go a little bit lower. Let's try 7. 7 times 8 is 56. If we look at 56, we're going to subtract 60 minus 56 is, well, we already know that it's going to be 4 because 10 minus 6 is 4. Well, we still have a remainder. A calculator has the ability to go even further. Luckily with this one, we're only going to do two decimal places. And so even though we've gone past the decimal, a calculator continues on until it finds the final number that it's divisible by. We're going to take and bring this zero down. We're going to bring it down and it becomes 40. 8 goes into 40 how many times? Hey, that's right. It's 5. 5 times 8 is 40. And so if we have 40, 40 minus 40 is 0. Now if we look back at our question, this is a calculator answer. We have 120 with 0.75 left over. Well, we did that problem and it was fairly easy. Now, if we remember, our remainder was 6. And so we're going to come back over here and we're going to grab that 6 and we're going to bring it over here. When we did this original problem, there is a remainder of 6. Well, 6 parts out of how many were we dividing by? How many friends were on the outside of the, the cookie table? There were 8. And so we're going to put an 8 underneath that 6. And then we're going to put a divisor there. Now, if we read this correctly, it's going to be 120 and 6 eighths. So, Look at these three problems. We have one that's the traditional method, and we, we did it a traditional method, and we found out that there was a remainder of 6. When we did it the calculator method, we found out that it was 120.75. And the third way is 120 and 6 eighths. So all three give us the right answer. Well, I noticed the time and I've taken up nine minutes so I'm gonna skip this problem but I want to show you that you take the cookies under the table right there and you divide them by the number of friends and so if you see 5896 divided by 4 that's gonna be your problem well, that's going to be one of the homework assignment or one of the problems in class. But here are some easy problems because they're only two digit. 
So you're going to be solving a couple of those problems on your homework. And you need to do four digit dividends divided by the divisor. And we'll try to see if you can do these problems that are problem solving. Remembering will be similar. It will be review for the most part. But there will be some dividing. And remember, stretch your thinking. This is going to be a two-step problem because you have project A and project B. And so you're going to have to divide, multiply, think through the steps as you go through it. Explain which of the two B projects Toby should choose. Now, read the question to find out what he wants, and you'll be able to answer the question no problem. So that's all I have for tonight's homework. I wanted to make sure that everybody was on board with these three different ways of doing math and I, I did take longer on that just to make sure you understood that the remainder makes a fraction it's six parts out of eight and a decimal 0.75 and so I want you to try something at home because you do have a calculator go ahead and try to divide eight divided by six and see if you get 0.75 as your answer so that's all I have for tonight. Thank you. Good night.